Today's video is all about a cap can. We're going to take a look at how to play him properly in 2024, taking a look at just some of the strengths that he has at his disposal and some of the best spots to maximize the utility use of his cap can traps. So without me talking anymore, let's dive in and get started. What is happening guys, it's Alan here from the Dangleberries and once again I've teamed up with Elevate to bring you today's video about Capcan. Now he is one of the original operators in the game and he's gone through so many iterations over the years including in recent times where you can place multiple traps on doors. Now he's not just about all the traps, he does have a really strong submachine gun and pistol to go with it and on top of that he's got a C4 and impacts in pocket. Now the main objective of Capcan is anti-entry, trying to slow that rush meta of attackers getting into the building very quickly. Of course his traps can get kills, which of course is a bonus and hugely important and can help you win a round. But also he can provide a lot of intel to your teammates or for yourself if you're deciding to roam by placing traps in and around where you're roaming. And if you can hear someone shoot one out or walk through one, it can be a very good intel gaining tool for yourself and your teammates. Now taking a look at some of the basics of Capcan, time management is so important when it comes to an operator like this. You have five traps that you need to place around the map and you don't want to be putting yourself under pressure where you just throw a whole bunch of traps in a couple of doors just outside the site. You want to maximize the use of these traps and get as much either intel or damage to attackers as possible. I see a lot of people, they spend time reinforcing walls and then the round is almost started and they're just starting to put down their traps and in fact some people get killed in that process because they're so busy trying to find a good spot to put the trap that the attackers have already made their way into the building and with the way people play today where they just run straight into the building barely droning or anything the chances of you dying in that situation is much higher than normal now like i said at the start of the video of course not only does he have the traps he does have c4 and impacts in pocket as well and it just adds to his arsenal to be able to get other picks outside of his traps and of course it makes Capcan such a menace to play against. Now of course you do see him banned more often than not now because of his traps and the utility he has at his disposal but again he has so much more to offer outside of all of this if you can use the traps to your benefit. Now a perfect example here is the most important thing of course is to not have your traps just be so easily visible to attackers and a really good little combination you can do here is if you put one at waist height that is really obvious to the attackers that they will go and shoot that out they won't expect you to put two other traps on the other side of the door border is such a great map for capcan so this is a perfect example right here by putting one on the right side of the office door anyone coming down the hall will see it they'll shoot it out not expecting there to be two more on the other side of the door now, of course, there is this opportunity that they come down the east side and they see those two, but again, they won't see the one on the other side. So it just works out that no matter what happens, there's a possibility of you getting a damage done to the attacker. Now, another great hidden invisible trap right here is on the main hallway. These two door frames that people actually, a lot of people don't know about, you can place traps on as well. So anyone pushing down that east hall will not spot them and you can actually put them in the other way as well if you'd like. So if anyone's coming out a break room door and pushing down towards offices, they won't spot it either. Now here's a couple of more examples of invisible traps as border is such a good map for Capcan. Down on the bottom of east stairs, again, these door frames can also be used. So anyone making a play down east stairs, if the bomb site is in tellers, won't expect there to be Capcan traps on these door frames and you can get some more damage done to attackers. And another example over on the customs door as well, by placing it on the left side of the door, anyone coming in through passport into waiting will be looking towards customs initially. They won't spot that cap can sitting on the door because the trash can blocks the view of the trap. There are so many traps like this all over the game in every map. If you'd like to see a full dedicated video for all these invisible traps, drop down into the comment section, let me know your thoughts, and I will do my best to bring that to you. Now, another example here, again, is just off of the main stairs. You can place traps on these doors as well. Again, very hidden for any attackers making a play in through the tension or coming in from the main lobby door. Now, another really cool trick that you can add on to your Capcan setups is if you reinforce a door and then break it down where the trap is placed, it will create a small little edging from the frame of the reinforcement 
and you will not be able to see the trap as you're coming in the door. It just has that small piece of wood sticking out so that the trap is hidden in a way against the wall and they won't spot it and you might be able to get some more damage onto attackers. Now this top metal stairs again, the same thing I'm just trying to mention is if you put a trap here, they're going to be seeing it very clearly when they're coming up metal stairs, but if you put two traps on the left side of the door, they'll walk through and take either serious damage or die in the process. Now another really cool invisible trap which was used in the Pro League at one point is located on Cafe on the top floor just behind the bar counter. You can place them on the door going in towards Freezer and it will get hidden inside the trash bags up against the wall. It's a really strong trap, definitely would work be trying, especially when a lot of people do try to plant the diffuser on the floor right here. Now another great example for an invisible trap here located over on Oregon at the very bottom of Showers Hall, just going into Small Tower. You can place a trap on the far wall on the door and it is almost invisible for attackers coming into Small Tower. Not a lot of people will check that corner, they'll push in and make their way down the hallway and they'll get hit by the trap and if you decide to put more than one trap there you may actually get an early pick in the round off of this as well and it's such a strong spot to use. Now another one that I really like to use here is over in the master closet, of course a very high traffic area, people trying to get into master and get the wall open into games. If you place two traps on the bottom left, a lot of people try to run through that master door so that they don't get shot from attic and try and get that wall open and they'll get hit by those two traps. Now you could combine this by reinforcing the door and breaking it down as well so it even makes it more difficult for them to see them as they're pushing into the building. Now another example here over on a chalet just off of the west main staircase on the doorway leading into trophy hall. You can place a cap can on the side of the door and it almost goes into the shelving unit and it's so difficult for the attackers to see as they're pushing in through trophy and heading down west main stairs. Now if there's people coming from the main lobby side through dining of course they would see that trap so what you could do is you can place a trap in line with the books that are sticking out from the bookshelf and it makes it really difficult to see this trap when they're walking down the hall. Now, they might have a teammate coming in from trophy and they won't give that call because they won't see the trap and they will walk in and take a hit from the trap. And before I let you go, make sure to drop down into that comment section and let me know if you would like to see that invisible trap video and I will do my best to bring it to you. Now make sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy the video and if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we upload our next video. And if you haven't got your hands on the Elevate Bundle or any of the Elevate Bundles available in the Or6 shop, they're on sale right now during SI so go over and check them out.